All right, so our next speaker who was scheduled was Christina Wong. Uh, Christina Wong is a performance artist, writer, and cultural commentator who has been a commentator for American Public Media's Marketplace, PBS, Jezebel, XO Jane, Playgirl Magazine, and a guest on FXX's Totally Biased with Kamau Bell and Huffington Post Live. Her most notable touring show, Wong Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, looked at the high rates of depression and suicide among Asian American women and toured to over 40 venues since 2006. It's now a broadcast quality film, which you can buy. She's currently working on a new show, The Wong Two Journal, which looks at issues of global poverty and premieres in 2015. She's also a reality TV star on episode one of mixed TV series, I'm Asian American and which you can watch online at mix.tv. But, unfortunately, Christine couldn't make it today. And at the last minute, her queer card was revoked by internet trolls who deemed her too straight to speak at a queer conference, despite the fact that she self-identifies as part of the queer community. But, unfortunately for us again, Christina Wong's vagina was able to come in place of Christina Wong's
like to hear some spoken word? Yeah! yeah. Of course, this is Woo. Berkeley. <laughs> this is a poem I wrote called Not Just a Hole. And it's written for everybody who feels like they've been relegated to being just a hole. Oh. It goes out to you. She was shy. 
shocked. This is my impression of the face she made when she received the invite. <laughs>
to the thank you. <laughs> so to the world outside this conference, the word queer does not have the nuanced meanings that it has in settings like this. And so I feel that as a vagina, I have to put myself in front of you, conference attendees, to ask us to keep looking for nuance. <laughs> Queerness does not just exist in gender or sex, but in the time, timelines of our lives. It's the subversive ways that we execute our occupations and our activism, how we hold space for marginalized bodies, how we stand up for other marginalized people on this planet. Queerness is intersectional. Every moment that challenges the status quo takes with it queerness. Every time there is a disruption to the notion of what life is supposed to look like, and there is a fight for marginalized bodies to live with equal dignity and rights, this is queerness. I love snapping at conferences. <laughs> but as a vagina, I want to tell you, and you probably already know this, queerness is not just about me. Queerness absolutely goes beyond genitals. I believe that queerness is about queering, bending, subverting, and changing the narrative of gender and sexuality from what we grew up with, it's about defining yourself in a space that has been constantly dominated by a single white male narrative. I think that by nature, every person who works to change the shape of the world and not just works within the confines of the existing world is queer by nature. Queerness is about taking over institutions from the inside and recentering that narrative and welcoming new people to that space.
hold the space and keep the door open, not just for ourselves, but for other marginalized bodies. And while we may never get along in this queer space, nor are we obligated to make it the happiest place on earth, we have an opportunity to find ourselves 10 or 20 years down the road having a better understanding of the people that we didn't understand when we first met them. to liberate our queer siblings in Uganda, in Russia, and other parts of the world where being gay is criminalized and punishable by incarceration or death. Having listened to LGBTQ activists speak in Uganda, I heard them say that watching Americans celebrate so freely in pride parades here was a huge source of strength in their own organizing. We should not forget that in our definition of what queerness is, that there is a whole world out there to think of. Thank you so much. I am Christina Wong.
the uh, Berkeley ASUC facilitating it. So we really want to thank Nolan, DJ, and Ron Shane, and they're from our community, so it'll be a great leadership caucus. We also have a youth leadership caucus, um, so if you're interested in that, please go to that. That's in 88 Grinnell. And uh, if you want to get in line for lunch before or after taking a selfie with Christine's vagina, uh, please follow the volunteers. I'll show you where to line up outside. And yeah, please clean up after your mess. And we'll fail you again. Okay, I'll you. I'll you. Okay, so if you want to get lunch, you must have a name tag or else you will not get free food. Is that clear? Because there's like random people who 